Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can block the screen, the back, home, and within buttons, as well as incoming calls and notifications on your Samsung Galaxy S21 series. Now first tap on the home key to go back to your home screen. Then swipe down at the top and tap on the settings button. Next, go down and tap on accessibility, and then tap on interaction and dexterity. Next, tap on Interaction Control. Then, tap on Interaction Control Shortcut. Make sure it is switched on. Once it is switched on, some features will need to be disabled, such as Assistant Menu Others, Mute with Judges, Alert when phone picked up. Now, tap on the Turn Off button to activate this feature. Once it is activated, you need to tap on the left hand side panel and you need to choose which shortcut you want to use. There are two different shortcuts that you can use, press side and volume up keys, or you could choose press and hold volume up and down keys for three seconds. You can also choose both. Okay, now we need to um, open up an app that you want to lock the screen to. So let's say if you want to open up a YouTube app and say you want to play a video, so make sure you play the video first before you turning on interaction control and now once you are once you have played a YouTube video already you then can use a shortcut key to uh, turn on the interaction control shortcut menu so here I'm going to press on the volume up key and side key and in here in the um, shortcut menu I'm going to choose interaction control Okay, once interaction control is enabled, you have the option to block a certain area of the screen, or you could block the whole screen. So here I can choose where to block. I can block the whole screen, part of the screen, or I can simply just choose block whole screen down here, and then tap on done. Now there is also, also an uh, a, um, options button at the top here, giving you a chance to set the time limit whether you want to enable side key or volume keys, you can enable volume keys so that it can um, someone using it can increase or decrease the volume. There is also a keyboard option that you can switch on or off. And that's it. Once you are ready to block the screen, the screen tap on done, and that's it. The screen is now locked. So you can see if I try to touch on it, if I try to do something on the screen, whether I want to press on the recent key, home key, or back key, or accessibility button. It is all gray out and the lock screen is not responding to my touch anymore. To um, remove the, the blocking, all you have to do is using the same shortcut, either volume up or side key or volume up and volume down key. So press on both keys for three seconds and that will deactivate interaction control. And then after that, it will return back to your lock screen and you need to unlock your screen to go back into your uh, previous apps. And that's it, that's how you can use interaction control to block a screen. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.